what I, what I look at is the, is the model you have here. Not only do you have the coaching staff down, but you also have a great customer service model. And let's talk yeah. about that a little bit. What happens when somebody gets involved with you? What is the process and, and, and the follow-up and follow-back through with them? Well, you know, it's actually a really nice give and take relationship. There's a proactive and a reactive approach. We want to be in regular contact with the people we work with, but we also, it's very critical that they can reach us when they have a question, especially when it's something in regards to real estate. If they got a question then, it's burning on their mind then, and we want to know that they can actually have access to people, the experts that can actually help them with that. Uh, when you look at our business model right now, we, we actually have the ability to fulfill on 10 times more real estate than we're actually doing right now. And, uh, with the current staff and the people we have right now? With the current staff and the people wow. we have. So that just means that everyone gets all the touches and connection and contacts that they need because we're talking about money. And because we're not educated on money, we're not educated in, in, on finance in this country, um, it's scary for people. There's fear that gets in their way. Sometimes their own inadequacies come up. So our staff needs to be there to, to help them um, gain a different viewpoint or have a different understanding of what it is that they're facing. So that's something that's really critical to us because once someone gets involved, it is like a family, and your family's got to be there for you. Do you find most of the people are younger, older, in between? Do you have a, do you have a, is it a cross-cultural piece that's going on? People want this, a desire to have a house? You know, we definitely have some trends, but we see everything. Uh, we don't work with very many 16-year-olds or 18-year-olds. Obviously. There you but go. Um, you work with young people that are just starting out. The majority of people are uh, baby boomers. You know, I'd say probably over 50% are 45 or 50 up to 65 that are saying, hey, I kind of followed society's game plan for me for the last 30 years, and it's not panning out. And so we work with uh, we work with a lot of people that are saying, "Hey, I got to retire in the next five, ten years, and I uh, can't do my job, or I'm losing my market ability." And uh, so there's a lot of people there, but you'll see everything in between as well. So young people that want to get ahead in life, um, we see a lot of people that are rebuilding. You know, when when the economy came down, there was a lot of businesses that got hurt. There's a lot of people that lost jobs. Um, and we have solutions for those people. Um, one of the things that's important is that this isn't an elitist organization. We do work with very, very wealthy people because we're able to show them how to do things with their finances that they can't with their other experts. Uh, but down to someone that just, they lost everything, their business imploded, they went bankrupt, uh, we're helping those people out as well. And that's a very important part of our mission statement. We don't want to exclude anybody. What, what I like about it, you can come in at a, at a very nominal cost and get an education process that, you know, most people take 30, 40 years to get in their bind the oh, way they yeah. are. And we're, you're talking a six, eight month educational course is going to change their life. And then if they if they save and they and they budget their money probably into your game plan, they then can have a house, but not just one. If they do this properly, many, they, many houses that keep leveraging that 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 equity and, and some of the assets in that house that keep going. Some of your people, I, I heard a couple of them have bought 10 houses. Or before they had only had one house barely for 10 years. I, I, there was a gentleman, it was kind of funny, um, I won't say his name because it's a cartoon character name and people are like, oh yeah, that's the cartoon character. But this gentleman came into our program and uh, his brother had been in, he's an ER doctor, had bought three homes and he contacted his brother that was out of state and said, you got to look at the homes I'm doing. And his brother had actually, he actually did pretty well as an executive, but his money wasn't doing what he wanted it to in the market. He saw what his brother had done. He came into the program in the first 60 days, he bought 10 homes. That's and, amazing. And, and created just a massive, massive cash flow. And how cool, I mean, I gotta say, we talk to people that have, have 401ks, but they don't think about it as their money. And the 401k doesn't write them a check. And then they're taught by their advisors, put your money in an IRA. But that doesn't write me a check, and I'm also taught not to think about it. And then I work on paying down my house, but it never writes me a check. So society kind of has us educated at stay super poor, at a broke level, put your money in places where you don't think that it's yours, and, and you know people wind up at retirement with nothing. We, we do something really simple, Greg. We take common sense decisions that we've been making for years that have proven out, and we help them reorganize their assets to simply make more money. And hence, you get a gentleman that comes in and 60 days in, he buys 10 homes because he says, well, this is a very clear opportunity cost of what I'm missing out on every single month. Uh